Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky, Bex, whatever you like to call me, and welcome to my declutter series. So in this series, I'll be going through every single makeup item. So what I'll be keeping, what I won't be keeping, and what will be going straight in the bin. Now, uh, just a little disclaimer before we start this video, 90% of my makeup is extremely old, and 90% of it is discontinued. None of this makeup is sent from PR. I bought all of this makeup myself, so I don't get sent any PR whatsoever. Any makeup which I don't want to keep will be going straight in the bin. I know that's a humongous waste, but the, where the makeup is so old anyway, I don't feel comfortable passing it on to someone else when I've had it for such a long, long time. So I really hope you guys enjoy this declutter series. If you do and you enjoy my content in general, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified by all of my future videos. Follow me on Instagram where I tend to post my YouTube content and all my random content and fun content here and there. So get yourselves comfortable, like myself, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, and let's get started with the series. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing my setting powders. So I have my pressed powders on one side and I have my loose powders on the other side. So as you guys know, whatever I won't be keeping will be going in the bin. So let's just say this bit here, whatever I'm keeping, the powders are gonna go here and whatever I'm not keeping are going right here. So let's get started, shall we? Where should we start? Should we do loose or pressed? Uh, let's start with the loose powders actually. And start with the loose one. Oh my gosh, this is an old nostalgia product. This is the e.l.f. Uh, under eye loose setting powder. This is in the shade Sheer. I don't really reach for this that often anymore. I know this was designed for under the eyes, but I'm gonna give this more of a go because I haven't really tried it and I'm just gonna, I mean, can loose powders smell off? Let's find out. It doesn't smell off or anything. I know I've had it for a really long time, but I'm going to keep hold of this and see if I can make do with it. Now, this is the Nip and Fab Loose Powder. Now, if you guys um, have seen my Nip and Fab video, you will know that I accidentally shook this powder, this powder so bad that it's exploded and gone everywhere. You can see it's smoke. It's kind of the powder's going everywhere. It's uncontrollable didn't really like this powder. I do love all the other items in the Nip and Fab range. So this is gonna go behind here. This one here, this one is the Too True Loose Powder. This is in the shade number one. This is um, way too dark for me. And it's very, very overly fragranced. Really, really fragranced. It smells like a grandma's old house. Um, I do love the other pressed powders from Too True, which I don't have, but I really want to repurchase them. So I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to repurchase their pressed powder because I had it many years ago and used it up, which I used it so much that it's all gone. So I'm going to um, gonna buy the pressed powder. So I'm going to get rid of this one. This is the loose powder. This is by Collection Sheer Loose Powder. The writing is completely gone. But this one's in the shade Translucent. This is a really good powder. This adds a really nice bit of warmth to the skin. So I actually really like this powder, despite it being old. I really, really like it. So I will be keeping this one. This powder here, this is by Kiko Milano. This is the Velvet Loose Mineral Beauty Powder. This is in the shade 01. This is a color correcting powder. So if you guys see, it's a bit more of a peachy undertone powder. It's, it's very, very peachy, which I know you're all thinking, how are you going to use that? You're supposed to use this on top of like darkness, so under your eyes and that kind of thing. I don't really reach for this. And this is by their Artiste collection, which they don't make this anymore. And yeah, like I said, I don't really reach for this. So I think sadly this will be going. This powder. Ah, oh, the Gosh Cosmetics Prime and Set Prime and Mattifying Setting Powder. This is a two-in-one. No words to say about this. Love this powder. I'm definitely going to be keeping this powder. I love this powder. 
absolutely love it. This one is the EX1 Pure Crushed Minerals Powder Foundation. This is shade 1.0. When I tested this in the EX1 video, I really, really liked this powder. Really, really liked this. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping that. I liked that one. This one is the Double Seven Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. This is in the shade Cassie Cameo. So it's like a banana kind of powder. I really like this powder. Great for under my eyes. It just brightened everything. It looked really, really smooth. I'm pretty much going to say this about every powder. Oh, it looks so smooth. It looks very, it looks very flawless, this and that. But yeah, yeah, this made my eyes very, very smooth. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping this powder for sure. Ah, oh, this is the Matte Perfect Loose Powder by MUA. This is in the shade Translucent. I love this powder. I really, really adored this powder. Even though you can't buy this anymore, I really like it. I don't believe they make this anymore from MUA because I think they took some of their old products off because some of them weren't vegan and now they've made them all vegan. But I'm gonna use this up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> this is the Technic Soft Focus Transparent Loose Powder. So this is obviously a translucent powder. I really liked this powder. It looked really nice on my skin. When I tested this powder, it looked really, really nice. So I am going to be keeping that powder for sure. I like these velvet powders as well because I find they set my face really quickly. So that's really, really nice. The Mimi Me Flawless Loose Powder. This one's in the shade Translucent. I can't remember what I thought about this powder. I know I tested this in a full Mimi Me full face worth of full face of makeup, but I can't remember what I thought about it. So I'm going to retry this again and see what I think of it. This one is the Revolution Light Yellow Loose Setting Powder. And this is obviously, yeah, yellow light. <laughs> this is a, whoa, um, yeah, I've exploded it. I have a habit of exploding powders. I don't know why. This appears to be a habit of mine. Is it a habit of yours as well? Do you have a habit of like shaking this too hard and the powder goes everywhere? Let me know. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is a very reflective powder. So it's not matte by any means. It is very reflective. If you like that sort of dewy kind of powder, then you will love this. But I'm gonna keep it because there are days where I like a very sort of dewy face look and that's what I like to use it for. This one is by L'Oreal. This is the True Match Minerals loose setting powder this one's in the shade rose ivory because this is our one point r but i really wanted to get our one point n which is neutral which is more of a yellow undertone this one is pink for me i don't like to use this for my face i like to use this for my eyes because when i used this in the l'oreal testing video it made me look very very pale so I like to use this more of under my eyes kind of thing and it's really really nice so I'm gonna be keeping that one as well this one is the PS setting powder it's buildable coverage matte free oil free powder this one is in the shade this was in the shade porcelain I like this powder I mean I can't the, the problem is I can't remember what I thought about these powders but I'm I believe I liked it. Oh yeah, it's quite a nice colour actually. Yeah, that's quite... Yeah, it's quite light. This I'm definitely going to be keeping. The Lottie London Ready Set Go uh, Matte Transparent Finishing Powder. This one's in the shade Warm Translucent. I really like this powder. I'm going to be keeping that. I really, really like it. It just adds nice warmth to the skin and it just makes my skin look really smooth. I really like that powder personally, so I'm keeping that. This one here, this one is the Max Factor Miracle Velvet Loose Setting Powder. It doesn't have a shade name, it's just it's just a loose mineral setting powder. This gives me This one gives me a light warmth to the skin, the Lottie London one, but this one gives me a really nice warmth to the skin. So this one's a little bit more darker. I'm going to keep this powder cuz I I do I do like this. And last but not least from the loose powders, I have the I Heart Revolution Scented Baking Powder and it's in the shade Peach. I did like this powder. Actually, did this have a smell? Yeah, it does. It's very, very, I don't mind, I don't mind powders that are, 
I don't mind powders which are fragrance as long as they're not overly fragrant. Do you know what I mean? Where they're so overpowering that they just don't disappear. Sort of like the Too True one. This one is so fragranced. And it's really fragranced that it doesn't linger on your face quite a while. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this one for sure. And now let's move on to the press powders. Sorry, I did forget these two little guys here that were in my drawer. Sorry, I did forget these two. This one is the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, and this one is by Nude by Nature. This is the translucent translucent loose finishing powder. I'm going to keep both of these because I did a review on both of these powder comparisons and I really liked both of them. This one was my favourite but I did like both of these powders so I'm going to keep these two so I'm just going to leave them there. Okie doke. So with the powders, so speaking of those two, I've also got this little mini Charlotte Tilbury setting powder and this is in the shade 1. I'm going to be keeping this. I cannot believe I've actually got a little sample of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm very excited that I have that so I'm definitely going to be keeping that for sure. Okay, right. This one here, this is the NYX HD Finishing Powder, and this one is in the shade Translucent. I generally liked this powder, actually. I did like the way it looked on my skin, so I'm going to be keeping... I'm going to be keeping that one there. This powder was good. Oh my gosh, the Miss Sporty So Clear Pressed Powder, and it's in the shade transparent oh so i had it upside down but what was good about one is this one it's got an antibacterial ingredient in it so if you suffer with like spots sits that kind of thing i used to use this when i was really little and actually does this smell does this smell off no it still smells okay actually so i'm gonna be keeping this powder even though i know it's extremely old little wet and wild Pressed powder just fell there. This one's in the shade Warm Light. Now, I liked this powder, but the only problem is, as you can see, I had to proper scratch this front bit to death just to get any powder off it. Usually when you take the hard surface off, you, you can get powder off, but this was really hard to get any powder off. But it was nice though. Do not get me wrong, it was a nice powder. S sorry, I know I'm not very good at decluttering stuff, am I, at the moment? <laughs> This one, this is the MUA Transparent Press Setting Powder. This one's in the shade uh, Translucent, so this is just like a pure white setting powder. Don't really reach for this. It's a nice powder, but yeah, I just don't reach for it, so this can go. That can go in the bin. Finally, I'm decluttering something. <laughs> that can go in the bin. Love this powder. This is the Kiko Matte Fusion Press Powder in 04. Oops, I've still got the sponge with that. This is a really nice powder. This matches my skin. I really do enjoy this powder. So I'm going to be keeping hold of that one. This one is the Body Shop Press Powder 010. This is a nice colour for me. It set my face really, really well. I generally really, really like this powder. So yeah, I'm going to be keeping hold of this one. This one here is the Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder. This one's in the shade 52 Vanilla. But I don't really reach for this. Oh, do I get rid of it? Do I not? I mean, I love the foundation. I mean, it's a really, really creamy powder. This is really, really, really nice. Uh, do I get rid of it? Uh, um, I'll, I'll pop this in the I'll pop this in the maybe pile and see if I want to get rid of it. So I'll just pop it back there for now. Sorry guys, I've got about this loose setting powder. This is the Ready Set Go Barry M loose setting powder. This one's obviously um, in the shade translucent. I'm going to be keeping hold of this one. This made my skin look really, really nice. I'm going to be keeping hold of that one there. This one is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Press Powder. This one's in the shade Vanilla 01. This is the old press powder. This one here, they don't make this one anymore. They actually are still making this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to keep hold of this one. Because I do gen generally like this powder. So I'm going to be keeping um, I'm gonna be keeping that one there. This one, this was one of my favourite 
This one's the Maybelline Matte Me Powder, and this one's in the shade 20 Nude Beige. Oh, as you can see, it's breaking, and I've pretty much got this little bit left. I really need to finish this and bin it and buy a new one. So I'm going to be using this up until it's all gone. God, powder's just gone everywhere now. This one is the Beauty UK Compact Press Powder. This one is in the shade 1. This one's a nice powder. This one's really, really nice. Sets the face really well. It's a nice colour as well. It's not... Yeah, it's not... It's not too dark on my skin. It's quite light, actually. So I'm going to be keeping hold of this one. Now I've got two of these powders. This is the All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. These are both translucent, so one of them is old packaging. So I think the one that's um, the one that's not broken, which is this one here, this one I believe is the new packaging, this was the old packaging. What happened was I basically bought a pressed powder for my Essence video, which is one of my the second video I did on this channel, and it went missing. So I freaked out, and I can't remember if it was my fiance or myself that went out and actually bought another powder. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one and I'm gonna get rid of this one because this one is a lot lot older so I'm gonna be getting rid of that one these two here these are this is the makeup gallery smoothly does it press powder I've got two shades here I've got sand uh, sand four and translucent one now I'm gonna keep both of these because what I like to do is I like to use sand for all over the face and translucent for under my arm. This powder, this was one of my favourites, is the e.l.f. finishing powder in Fair to Light. As you can see, I hit pan on this one. I did really, really like this powder. It has a nice little sponge with it. I'm gonna keep hold of this one. <laughs> this one is the B Makeup Setting Powder. This is another translucent powder. This is a white powder. Oh my gosh. I can't remember what I thought of this powder. It's very, it's very velvety. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep hold. I'm gonna keep hold of this one. This one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in translucent. What I don't understand is I've hit, I've hit pan on a few of these pressed powders, but yet I don't finish them up. That does make sense, doesn't it? If you hit pan on a powder, you should really just use it up and then move on to the next one. Not for me. I just. Hit pan, move on to the next one. So, does anyone else have that same problem? But I'm going to keep hold of that because I do like that powder. It's an old classic as well. Everyone loves that powder. This one is the Revlon Color Stay Loose uh, Press Powder. This one's in the shade Light. I really like this powder. I generally really like this one as well. Oh, I'm not getting rid of many of these powders at all but I generally do like majority of these powders I really do and I like this one a lot and it comes with a nice puff and yeah sorry I'm gonna keep that one as well this one is the revolution matte base powder in p1 this one this is a very mattifying powder I don't use this one very often so keeping hold of that one as well Right, this one is the MUA Skin Define Hydra Powder with Vitamin E and Joba Oil. And this was a translucent powder. They don't make this powder from MUA, MUA anymore, but I generally used to love this powder. I used to use it all the time because it was very hydrating, so it never dried my skin out. I'm going to get rid of it because, to be fair, I've got so many powders here. And do I really need to keep this? Not really. Do I reach for it? Not really. So no, this one can go. This one is the Natural Collection Matte Press Powder in the shade Neutral. This is a nice powder. This is a very nice all over the face powder. It's got, I think it's got calomel extract in it as well. So very good for sensitive skin. So I'm gonna keep hold of that one. And last but not least, we have two more powders. We have the MUA Pro Base Powder and we have the George Silk Finish Press Powder. This one's in the shade Light and this one's in the shade 110. I generally like both of these powders. I mean, I can't remember what I thought of the George one. It's quite a, yeah, it's quite a creamy powder actually. Yeah, it doesn't smell off. 
but I did like this powder. This powder I think is so ridiculously affordable. I think it's like £2.50 or something. It's a really nice powder. I like to use this with my MUA like foundation and concealer. So yeah, I'm gonna keep hold of both of these two. So these are the loose powders I'm going to be keeping. And these are the pressed powders I'm going to be keeping. And these ones here, I'm just show you quickly here. So these ones, these ones, and this one I'm not going to be keeping. So yeah, these are the powders I'm going to be keeping. I hope you guys are really enjoying my declutter series. If you are, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified of all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.